Hey guys, Joseph Aronson here, True Local Realty Group. I get this question all the time, and that is, I'm moving to North County, San Diego. Where should I live? So I'm gonna break every area down for you on this video. Here we go. All right, guys, so uh, we're gonna do a deep dive and uh, we're gonna start off by talking about price points. Uh, then we're gonna jump into schools. We're gonna jump into some outdoor activity areas and definitely what everybody's interested in. Where's the best nightlife, restaurants, all that fun stuff. So um, let's jump into it. So first and foremost, um, where, where's North County, guys? Um, I, I wanna just show you guys on a map. Obviously, San Diego is a big county. Uh, it's broken down into pretty much four areas. You got Central San Diego, you got um, uh, South San Diego, and then you got pretty much North County and East County. So I'm gonna I'm gonna primarily just talk about North County um, and, and mostly coastal North County. That's pretty much from Del Mar here, across 56, out into Poway, Escondido, up into Bonzel and Fallbrook, and then all along the coast here. So this is really North County. Now that would be East, North County or inland North County and obviously coastal North County here. The big question is where, where, where can I live? Where can I afford? Uh, what areas uh, offer the best price point? So I, I went ahead and pulled up, pulled up a map here to kind of show you guys and kind of the rule of thumb. Typically, now this is showing basically homes under 2 million that uh, are single family over a three bedroom. Now the rule of thumb here is Del Mar, kind of Rancho Santa Fe, Solana, and Carmel are pretty much our, our most expensive uh, area. So that's why you're gonna see very few properties here that are under $2 million. Uh, and then as soon as you go a little bit east, things start opening up. And as soon as you go north, things start opening up. And you'll see a trend here, pretty much once you get, uh, once you get into to kind of Rancho Bernardo, Escondido area, you'll see a lot more affordable properties. And of course, the further northeast you go, the more affordable it gets. Uh, and the same thing goes for your coastal property. So uh, Encinitas being a little bit more affordable, Carlsbad having some more options um, under 2 million. And then of course, once you get into Oceanside, Oceanside being uh, the second most affordable city, uh, coastal city in all of Southern California, most affordable being down in Imperial Beach against the border. So Oceanside, definitely a lot of value there if you're looking to purchase. So hopefully that kind of clarifies, um, just good rule of thumb. Start off in Del Mar, further north and further, further east you go, the more affordable it's gonna get for North County. So the next question I get guys are, uh, you know, we're relocating to San Diego, where do we want our kids to go to school? Um, that's obviously a big concern for a lot of families and um, I'll give you guys kind of the, the rundown that I, that I go through with everybody. Um, bottom line is the more expensive areas usually offer the better school districts and that, that is true for here in North County for the most part. Um, and, and you can find out everything you need to, uh, need to know about schools on greatschools.org. Uh, it's a great website that does all the rankings on schools so I highly recommend you spend some time on there if schools are important. Um, Good rule of thumb here with the schools. Pretty much, uh, San Diego School District, uh, being in Carmel area here, uh, Del Mar, Solana Beach, it's a great school district. Uh, as soon as you get into Encinitas, uh, you're, you're gonna be in a phenomenal school district as well. And then definitely South Carlsbad area is very well known uh, for their schools. I'd say the other area that's really well known or two other pockets that are really well known that I have clients coming from all over the world uh, to live in these areas, to be within these school districts, definitely Poway. Poway is really well known uh, for their school. And then I would say kind of the hidden gem here that I have a lot of clients moving into the area for is San Marcos School District. High Tech High, um, their elementary school, San Alejo Hills. Um, um, this area here, phenomenal area with semi-affordable properties. So good rule of thumb there. Uh, if you stay in San Diego School District, Carlsbad, San Marcos, and Poway, probably gonna be the better school districts to try to uh, find a property in. All right, so probably um, 
Well, my favorite uh, thing to discuss with clients is really trying to find a area that matches up with their lifestyle. Uh, so I have clients that you know are coming down from the Bay Area or Denver, and they're and they're looking for something that represents that. You know, really good restaurant scenes, really good, not necessarily nightlife, but um, places to to go and be entertained and, and have a good time with friends. And um, we have a, quite a few different pockets in North County, so I'm going to kind of break those down for you guys. I guess. Uh, good rule of thumb here or something to think about is is most of our restaurants like our higher end restaurants really nice places are pretty much along the coast don't get me wrong they're great spots inland um, escondido has you know old escondido or downtown escondido has some really nice restaurants um, you know san marcos um, has some really nice restaurants and then vista is really popping right now in vista village or the old, old town um, really great uh, restaurants and, and breweries in that area, but for the most part, a lot of our uh, high-end dining, really nice restaurants pretty much start um, on Coast Highway here, going all the way up to Oceanside. Um, so Encinitas, you have two parts of Encinitas on the coastline. You have downtown Encinitas and then you have Lucadia. Um, downtown Encinitas is going to offer more of a nightlife scene, so there actually are some nice bars and restaurants, and then some great uh, great fine dining places as well. Lucadia is more of your, your laid back uh, restaurant scene. Um, definitely a lot of healthy options, vegan food. Um, really, really cool scene in Lucadia. From there, I'd probably jump over if I was gonna go out, I'd probably either head all the way over to uh, Carlsbad Village or maybe over uh, near near the Legoland, so off of Palomar Airport Road, there's some nice restaurants here uh, uh, along the mall, and those are probably our bigger establishments like your 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 BJ's and your Carl Strauss. Outside of that, Oceanside, downtown Oceanside, really has become a hot spot, and I think we were ranked number three in San Diego magazines for best restaurant scene in, in, in all of San Diego. I think it was Little Italy, North Park, and then Oceanside. So definitely a lot of new restaurants popping up, primarily on Coast Highway. And then you have a few that are right here on Mission Boulevard as well. So really good restaurant scene. Some other hot spots that I, that I just wanna talk about that have some really nice breweries and restaurants, definitely Vista. I mean, Old Town Vista or Vista Village, some, some great restaurants and breweries combined. There's Belching Beaver um, still there right now. And uh, sorry, it's over on this, this area right here. Um, and, and then a, a few cool, uh, really good brewery slash restaurants. All right, and the last question I get asked because a lot of people are moving here from Midwest and, and really trying to embrace the outdoor lifestyle that we have. Uh, but the last question is really, you know, what, what are the best beaches? What are the best outdoor spaces? So um, honestly, you can't go wrong with pretty much any area here in North County. Uh, we have a ton of parks. Um, we have a ton of walking trails. We have um, some nice hikes, you know, sure, maybe not right in your backyard, but we have some great hikes in San Marcos. And as soon as you go inland into Escondido and, and shoot even around um, Elephant Forest, uh, there, there's some great hikes. And then don't, don't let me forget, but Torrey Pines probably, you know, one of the most famous hikes or the most famous hike that we have in all of San Diego is right there uh, at, at the tip of, or the start of North County. So plenty of outdoor spaces or outdoor areas. Now, beach wise, you know, I might be a little biased because I kind of grew up in, 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 uh, in you know, Encinitas, Carlsbad, Oceanside area, but definitely uh, I love, love the beaches in Carlsbad. Uh, I think that's probably my favorite just because you have this long, uh, I mean, really long boardwalk that goes from, uh, so from, from Tamarack here, pretty much all the way over to Carlsbad Village and even a little bit past that. And so it's just really nice and tons of beach. Oceanside has some great beaches as well and, and really known for its waves. Um, but Oceanside Beach has definitely diminished over the years and we're seeing less and less beach and more, more rock. So if you're looking for white sand beach, definitely Carlsbad is the hot spot. Now, beautiful, beautiful scenery for beaches. If you go south on the bluffs in Encinitas, you know, personally, one of my favorite beaches just to go hang out on, uh, definitely Moonlight Beach. You can sit down on Moonlight Beach in Encinitas and just be looking at the bluffs and the beautiful homes above. I mean, it is stunning and gorgeous. So, uh, and then uh, I, I can't, I can't uh, mislead you if I don't say that, um, you know, you go down to Del Mar to Torrey Pines and the beach there. 
I mean, it's truly spectacular. You can actually do the hike and then come down the stairs and walk along the beach and the bluffs on the way back. So definitely a lot of fun to be had over there. So I hope this uh, kind of gives you guys some insight into what North County has to offer. If you guys have any questions at all about any of the communities that we have here, please reach out to, to myself or anybody here on the True Local team. Uh, we're always here to help and you can just go to truelocalrealty.com to find all of our information. All right guys, hope to hear from you.